we've all done it. As kids, mom would make us apologize to someone and grudgingly we would say, sorry, under our breath, unwilling to mean it. Then mom would tell us to say it like we meant it. At this point, most of us knew mom meant business. So we would take a breath and put more enthusiasm into our apology. The tone of our voice might have been right, but the sentiment didn't reach our hearts. <sighs> the Lord wants us to be kind, however. He doesn't want us to show kindness grudgingly. Kindness, true kindness, is a product of the Holy Spirit. Kindness demonstrates the manifestation of the Spirit within us. When we demonstrate spiritual kindness, it is expressed cheerfully. Kindness fills us and overflows into the world, leaving us cheerful and spreading cheerful kindness wherever we go. I believe this cheerful kindness produces joy. The combination of kindness and joy within us produces a spiritual power that enables us to do incredible things for the Lord. When we add love, well, there's just no stopping us. As you develop the kindness habit during Lent and beyond, be sure your kindness originates from deep within you, where the spirit resides. How will you know? By the cheerfulness that fills your spirit and fills you with joy.